students today we are going to discuss another lesson for you right area right today i hope to discuss that uh, this lesson small interesting brief lessons uh shall we start now okay right the friends here area the space occupied by a surface is called its area extent of a surface is known as area there are two definitions for the area did you remember that before we discuss the area right did you remember that perimeter 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 is the total length of all boundaries in a plane figure in grade 6 we are studying that right plane figure. But not only plane figure, but also some objects. Also, there we want to find the perimeter, right? perimeter of the house, perimeter of the land, like that. Right? However, you all remember that the total length of the, right? the total length of the uh, which is type of plane figure we call that perimeter. The total length of the. For example, right, this is the rectangle, 3 centimeters, 2 centimeters, again this side is 3 centimeters, no? You can identify that, you know that this is the both, these two sides are equal to each other, this is the rectangle, therefore also 2 centimeters. Right? How we find the, yes, this perimeter, we want to, Total all the boundaries of this. Right? We want to add the total all boundaries of this figure. Right. Shall we find the perimeter? Perimeter. Right. I sign as a P. P equal this centimeters plus two centimeters plus again three centimeters plus again two centimeters. Three centimeter plus centimeter plus three centimeter plus two centimeter plus right the perimeter of this rectangle is three to five eight ten ten centimeters is the perimeter that is we are already discussed that the lessons perimeter now we are going to find the in grade six level the area of the plane figure the area of the plane figure Right, see here. I will explain to area again. The space occupied by the surface is called this area. You know that any object right, occupied the space. Think about your room, think about your table, think about your chair. These all objects are occupy some space in your room. I have a duster. This duster, when we put in this board, he is occupied the specific area. He is occupied the specific area. Right? I will draw that. Right? I will draw that. This one occupied this area. To this surface area this uh, surface uh, we call that area of this object right this space we call that area of this object as well as see here i have some exercise book when you put in the table it takes some space it takes some space we call that to that space a uh, area of this space. Area of this space. Right? Okay. I will draw some diagram. See here. Right? This is a. Right? This is a rectangle. I will divide into equal four rows. Equal four rows. As well as I divide it into another equal for rows. 
Another another form. Right. In here, the length of right in here, I want to find the area occupied this figure. I want to find the area occupied this figure. Therefore, I will count these squares. I want to count these squares to find the area of this figure. Remember in your living room. Right? Think about your room. Sometimes it may be tiles. These tiles may be a different, different sizes, but they are maybe a tile. You can now count the how many tiles in your rooms or living rooms or totally in your home. That count is the area of your room or area of your uh, yes, area of your room or area of your house or area of your living room. As well as say this. Now I want to count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Area of this figure is how much? Sixteen. Right? Area is twelve. Area is twelve. Sixteen. Area equal 16. Next one. I will draw another one. I will draw another one. Two rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I want to find the area of this figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Area equal how much? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. Now, you know that area is the surface occupied by the space occupied by a surface. Occupied by a surface. That means extent of the surface. Right? Surface taking, touch karagan, allagan in the pramanator, area. Surface taking, vanilla in a pramanator. Now, how we calculate area? This is the sum small, right? Little, little extra. But remember that if it is a big space, right? Big space. Think about your school building. Think about your school auditorium. Think about uh, the uh, village you are living. Think about the city you are living. If we want to find the area of this land or anything, it is very difficult to find use the this method. Understand? Can we do it? We can't do today. We can't do use this method. If you want to find the area of uh, your main hall, auditorium, school building, you can't draw some squares or anything because we want to common specific measurement to express the area of anything as well as we want to easy technique without using this method we want to easy technique without using this method how we find the area of any of right now I am going to explain that. I will move this one. Another I will move. So another next. Okay. Yes. 
here. Area of this figure is also most. This is the technique I am going to explain you how you find the area in this. How we create this form? One, two, three, four. The account, no? But there may be a pattern to this as how it got done. Two into There is the two. Uh, one, two. Right? This is the length. One, two. The length. Right? length. Next one, I got the two again. One, two. Uh, who's that? Right? Red. Now you can create the logic. Right? I will explain that logic next. See here, 60. Right? How we create this 60? Right? How we create this? Right? How we create this 60? Right? Length is 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Length is 4 squares. Length is 4 squares. Right? Don't be I for it. As well as breadth is 1, 2, 3, 4. Next one, next we can see like this. Length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Breadth is 1, 2. Equal to 2. Right. Now you can create the logic. What is the logic? Area equal length multiple by breadth. Right? Area equal always length multiple by breadth. When we length multiple by breadth or a or we call that width, in which we can find the area of that object. But these are we found by using a how many squares, how many squares, but it is not practical. Plane figure or any object, we can measure the length and width by using millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. That is the common measurements for the length. Therefore, by using that method, by using specific measurements, commonly we use, we want to express the rate. Right? Like this. Now I think you understand. Therefore, I will create a logic. I will create an equation. I will create a formula for the area. What is the formula for the area? Right. Formula for the area. Area equal area equal length multiple by length. That is the logic, that is the equation, that is the method we use to find the 
Seri aldı. Now, for example. O centimeters ve bir centimeter bir. O centimeter ve bir centimeter. Now, we want to find the area. To know that, Area equal length into now here length is three centimeter, sorry, four centimeter. Length is now what we want to do, right? The logic is length should be multiple by breadth. The logic is length should be multiple by breadth. Four into three, two. Now we want to mention the measurement centimeters, but that is should be a, another logic there. We are express. We are express the area as a square meter, square centimeter, square kilometer. Right. We pronounce it square. Right. We use the symbol PM and post of it. We call this 12 square centimeters. 12 square centimeters. Especially here, right? we use this symbol. CM square. Right? This one is square meters. Square meter. This one is square kilometers. Square kilometers. Right? That is the indices here. CM multiple by CM. Right? Square CM. Right? You can study it next. Now understand, yes, another picture I will draw, another picture I will draw. Six centimeters and four centimeters. Now we want to find the area. You know that area equal length figure. Multiple by V, the breadth column. Length of this rectangle is 6 centimeters. It should multiple by 4 centimeters. Four centimeters. Firstly, we want to what do we want to do? 6 should be multiple by 4. How much? 24. Measurement is square centimeters. Measurement is square centimeters. Now I think that you are easily understand how we find the area of the any length. Right? Yes. We want to length multiple by We want to length multiple by the Right? I explain again. I uh, give a short summary again. We are studying the area. Area is the occupied surface of the plane figure or some objects. We want to calculate the area by using common measurements. The logic is length multiplied by breadth equal the area. We do some examples. There is a lesson note with my video. You can follow that uh, note and join self studies exercises. Okay. Thanks for.